avatars, the way of water, what has happened to Pandora, since we last visited 13 years ago, let's follow the instructions from this snippet. 13 years ago, since Avatar premiered in theaters and became the highest grossing film of 2009, a record that has remained stable thanks to theatrical re-releases, ahead of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Today, we get our first look at director James Cameron's upcoming sequel, Avatar. The Way of Water. Like the first Avatar, this time, Avatar, The Way of Water, looks like a visual feast. And true to the title, there must be a lot of water involved. Will you? It's cool guys. Let's find out, what changed on the planet Pandora, since the last time we were there. And what might happen in the future. The first scene, we see in the way of water avatar is. Children playing among Pandora's green nature. Although things change at the end of the scene, from this point on. It seems to reflect the peace and well-being that happened to Pandora's world after the first Avatar. And here it shows, that Navi children seem to be playing with human children. Indicates that cross-cultural exchange is possible, and the occurrence of warm social interactions between the two dimensions. Namely, the real dimension and the virtual dimension. <coughs> as well as reuniting us with the Navi, Avatar, Waterway, will introduce us to one clan in particular, the Metiana, who live near marine reefs. We certainly sense here that there is a vibrant Navi community located near the water. We're used to thinking of the Navi as a hunter-gatherer society living in harmony with nature, but this trailer seems to show that things have changed. Maybe, they've taken some tips from humans on how to do their own industrial construction project, or they're more comfortable on the site than ever before. They also appear to be wearing military gear. It's possible they are avatars, Navi human hybrids operated by compatible humans, like Jake from the first film. Being amphibians allows the Navi to enjoy not only the view of Pandora above ground, but also to see the colorful coral reefs alive beneath the waves. We'd smile brightly too if we could do that. Is this young Navi one of Jake Sully, Sam Worthington, and Neytiri, Zoe Saldana's children? If so, it seems to have inherited Jake's talent for bonding with powerful creatures. One of the most memorable elements of the first Avatar is the symbiotic relationship that the Navi can form with the winged creature Pandora. Based on images, like this from the new trailer, it looks like this neutral symbiosis is just as likely as marine life. Is this young Navi one of the children of Jake Sully, Sam Worthington, and Neytiri, Zoe Saldana? If so, it seems to have inherited Jake's talent for bonding with powerful creatures. After defeating the human mercenaries in the first Avatar, the Navi seem to have experienced it. Adapt to the enemy's previous military weapons and tactics. This means that they already know the weaknesses and weapons of their enemies. Namely mercenaries from the human faction. In this film, once again, the Navi group is shown as the main character. Or maybe this is the avatar used by the same mercenary. However, this is an interesting visual. Because, we also see, a human who fights with the bow and arrow of the Navi. Editing in the trailer makes it seem like this human attacking the Navi carrying weapons from the previous image. However, we are intrigued by this trailer. Perhaps it was the human child of Jake and Neytiri fighting alongside their Navi friends. Unfortunately, peace does not last forever. The closing minutes of the Avatar, Fway of Water trailer, seem to show the Navi lining up for war again. They gathered in rows, each carrying a spear-like weapon. But here, the sea will become a battlefield. Navi bonds with animals can be life-affirming and satisfying, but they can also play an important role in war. We saw that in the climactic battle of the first Avatar, and it looks like the sequel will reveal more combat-ready combinations and pairs. Oh, you're so funny. Time to go back to Pandora. It's just, what happened in 13 years after. Disney released the first trailer for James Cameron's Avatar 2 the sequel to the sci-fi epic, which was the world's highest-grossing film until Avengers, Endgame. We already know one thing, 
Avatar, like Fast and Furious, is all about family. When I, am making films, working with the actors I think are most valuable, Cameron said. It's been an incredible adventure to explore Pandora again with our friends. Zoe Saldana, Sam Worthington, Sigourney Weaver, and Stephen Lang, not to mention the members our new cast, Kate Winslet, Cliff Curtis, and this incredibly talented group of teens, all quickly distinguish themselves in their roles. The footage consists of beautiful and colorful seascapes, underwater glimpses, shots soaring in the air, and lots of Navi. But the focus is on Jake and Neetiri's family. I know one thing, wherever we go, this family is our stronghold, says Jake, the only word that comes out of the entire teaser. Britton Dalton, Philip Geljo, Jamie Flatters, Bailey Bass, Trinity Bliss, and Dwayne Evans Jr. has been chosen to play a member of the Jake family and a member of Metheona. Come on! Avatar 2 is currently slated to hit theaters this December 16th. Meanwhile, the original Avatar will be remastered and re-released in theaters on September 23rd. The director's James Cameron opens up about the long-awaited and awaited Avatar sequel The Director returns to Pandora with the first of four planned Avatar sequels, combining groundbreaking performance capture and his lifelong love of the ocean. What he wanted after making the world's highest grossing film of all time, breaking the record he had set. The director promised to return with not just one, but four sequels are planned. Will you? Looks like this movie is more exciting than Avatar 1, guys. He said, Avatar The Way of Water premiering, in theaters December 16, 2022, will be set primarily underwater, requiring years of technological research, and months of training actors to hold their breath for long periods of time which will impress the diving resistance. Now Cameron is finally ready to welcome audiences back to Pandora with a decade-long ambitious water wonder. Sounds a bit crazy, the process. Said Cameron, laughing. I mean, if Avatar didn't make a lot of money, we never would have done this, because it's kind of crazy. Listening to the filmmakers describe the journey of Avatar 2 making, a little crazy, sound like an understatement. Cameron began planning his own sequel in 2012, bringing in a team of writers in 2013 who helped decipher four stories that would span across Pandora's diverse geographies and continue the first film's story of humans versus nature. Avatar 2 Filming, whose title has not yet been announced, begins in 2017, with a story set about 14 years after the original former human warrior, Jake Sully, Sam Worthington, and Navi warrior Neytiri, Zoe Saldana, have been completed. Down and starting a family, and much of the film centers on their prepubescent offspring. <coughs> Ultimately, the sequel is a story about family, and it's a long one for parents to go through. To keep the family together, and keep them safe, said the producer, John Landau. I've always said that Jim's films have a universal theme. And really, there is no more universal theme than family. Avatars 2, mostly arranged in and around the oceans, introduces a new clan of reef-dwelling Navi called Metkiana. Landau describes the new tropical beaches and Pandora beaches as seaside paradises, Bora Bora on steroids. If the first film was all about tropical rainforests, with a cautionary tale about deforestation, a new backdrop, namely the sea, is the main attraction of this film. Titanic's director has long advocated for marine conservation, and he completed a record-breaking trip to the bottom of the Mariana Trench in 2012. I wade deep into the ocean when I'm not making films, he said, but setting the story below sea level presents more than a few challenges. The innovative performance capture process designed for the first Avatar was not intended to work underwater. So, Cameron and his team had to devise a way to accurately record an actor's smallest movements and expressions while drowning. The footage was then animated by the artists of Oscar-winning visual effects company Weta Digital. Most of the show's shooting took place in the 900,000-gallon tank which made especially for the sequel can mimic the swelling ocean currents and crashing waves. My colleagues in production are really lobbying us. 
Many of the cast members prepare to dive in by earning scuba certification, culminating in a field trip to dive with manta rays in Hawaii. But when it comes to filming, air bubbles and scuba technology will interfere with the shooting process. So, every actor should practice with a professional diver until they can free dive, holding their breath for a few minutes at a time. Cameron said 72-year-old Sigourney Weaver, who returns in a new, top-secret role after dying in the first film, could have easily held his breath for six and a half minutes, while new cast member Kate Winslet impressed everyone as she held her breath for a while. Seven and a half minutes. Avatar 2 marks the reunion between Cameron and him. The 46-year-old Oscar and Emmy winner plays one of Metkiana, a mysterious character named Ronal. <coughs> one of my favorite memories is that we had this circular tank, maybe 40 feet wide, with a large glass portal inside. One day I was walking and I saw Kate Winslet walking at the bottom of the tank, recalls Landau. She walked up to me and saw me in the window, and he just waved, got to the end of the wall, turned around, and walked all the way back. The first film was no small task, taking more than a decade to hit the screens. After Cameron first dreamed up the idea, but Cameron and Landau say the goal for the sequel is to aim higher at audience interest and dive deeper, scene by scene. Main shooting has been done on Avatar 3, scheduled for 2024. Were you, there will be three more avatars, guys. Definitely more fun than Avatar 2. If Avatar 2 is more fun than Avatar 1, this will break the patience of movie fans. And Weta have started early post-production on some scenes. The fourth and fifth films are currently set for 2026 and 2028. What do we do now? From a story point of view and from a world point of view, it's on a much larger scale, Landau said. It was both interesting and challenging. We put more detail, first and foremost, into the performances of the players, but we also put more detail and diversity into the world we create. Come on! The big issue is, is this movie going to make a lot of money? Cameron said of a sequel he is planning. Big and expensive movies have to make a lot of money. We are in a new post-COVID world, but hey, if you want to make big jumps, you don't have to be afraid of falling. However, a series of big budget sequels to the highest grossing film ever made may seem like a slam dunk. Cameron notes that the theater landscape has changed wildly. Since the first Avatar hit theaters, in 2009, Netflix streaming was just starting to gain popularity. Blockbuster has yet to declare bankruptcy, and the original Avatar studio 20th Century Fox still many years to go for Disney to absorb.